So as many of you know in this room and online watching, Filecoin is a crypto-powered storage network whose mission is to create a decentralized, efficient, and robust foundation for humanity's information. And today, Filecoin has become the scalable data storage layer of Web3. We are 99% of Web3's total decentralized storage capacity, 96% of total uh, Web3 storage utilization, and have become the developer platform of choice for Web3 uh, developers all over the space building on Filecoin. So give a big round of applause for the community to get there. But that is insufficient for our ambitions. Many of us are in this room today because we want to accelerate the transition from Web 2 to Web 3, where all of our internet interactions are done with total verifiability and trust, not just a subset of them. And in order to, to do that, to get Web 2 scale applications, think Twitter or YouTube or Twitch, to operate on Web 3 infrastructure, we need Web 3 storage and compute to become web scale for Web 3 to cross the chasm. And so that's why we're here today. The Filecoin master plan basically is a three-step kind of execution roadmap to get to that overall objective. Step one is build the largest decentralized storage network in the world. Step two is to onboard and safeguard humanity's data. And step three is to bring compute to the data itself to enable web scale applications. So I'll go into a few of those steps in a minute, but I did want to touch on what the launch of FVM does. And what the launch of FVM initiates is step three of that master plan. It brings smart contracts and user programmability to Filecoin and unleashes the enormous potential of a totally open data economy. Now, many of you might be thinking to yourself, Colin, smart contracts were popular in like 2016. Why is this a big deal today? And the reason for that is that smart contracts on the Filecoin platform enable a completely different style of use cases. Up top here, you see uh, the fundamental building blocks of Filecoin, storage markets, retrieval markets, and compute over data. And what Filecoin, the Filecoin virtual machine does is this programmable layer underneath it that orchestrates where and how data gets placed, incentivized, governs. It gives rise to the concepts of data DAOs and programmable storage, which has never been done before in the history of the world. It makes storage markets more easier to access, it makes retrieval markets more reliable, and it enables compute over data to exist on the Filecoin chain. And so all of this together really solidifies Filecoin as a very differentiated L1 that uniquely powers the open data economy. And that's why it's so important that smart contracts live on a blockchain that, like Filecoin, because it's a completely different L1 experience. But none of that really makes a lot of sense or, or really is as powerful um, unless we execute on the three-step roadmap for the Filecoin master plan. So I'm going to walk through a few of those steps today and the progress we've made to date. So step one, we have actually built the world's largest decentralized storage network. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are 3,800 storage provider systems across 44 countries around the world that provide 13 exabytes of storage capacity. This actually makes Filecoin larger than many public companies in the Web2 world that offer centralized storage. And it's an incredible moat like to assemble this scale of hardware across the world in a coordinated fashion is incredibly hard to replicate. And so this really differentiates Filecoin in step one as, as the decentralized storage platform in, in Web3. Um, what I'm super excited to report is that the percentage of storage provider systems that are actively engaged in providing super high value services to the Filecoin ecosystem is increasing at a rapid rate. At the beginning of January 2022, uh, there was about 3% of SPs that were uh, storing verified deals. Today, there are over 20% of SPs in the network that are taking verified deals. And so SPs are finding unique ways to differentiate themselves in the network. Either they specialize on a particular client segment, let's say academia for large data sets or large open government data sets, or they have particular features that, um, that they market to unique clients. Um, and so there's, this is not only really good feedback, but there's a huge momentum to accelerate this into 40, 50, 60% over the course of this year. 
um, we see top tier hardware vendors really leaning in with reference architectures and, and leasing programs. Uh, Seagate, who I believe is in the room, um, uh, AMD, Supermicro, these are all providing valuable services to this emerging Web3 ecosystem, which is a huge testament to the importance of Filecoin in cloud storage. We see accelerator programs like the ESPA program in, in Las Vegas that are helping new SPs get started and training new storage fighter systems around the world. And we are aiming for Filecoin to become the greenest storage network on the planet by making sure we measure the carbon output from storage fighters around the world through our Filecoin green program. And so all of that combined makes Filecoin really the world's largest decentralized storage network in the world. And a huge round of applause for all the SPs that have contributed to that ecosystem. Now step two gets me really excited. Um, step two is about onboarding and safeguarding humanities data. And we've seen a tremendous amount of progress here. In January 2022, there was 25 petabytes of data stored on Filecoin. And if you fast forward to today, that has increased 25x to over 600 petabytes of data across the network. This is, thank you very much. This is an incredible feat. This is the amount of business development conversations, uh, data prep, uh, data notaries, um, and actual storage uh, data transfer throughout the network to get to this goal is absolutely amazing. And it's just a testament to the commitment of our community. In total, um, there are 600 petabytes of live data across 22 million active deals. That's 25x in the last 14 months. Our onboarding rate is 20x from about 0.2 petabytes a day to about four petabytes a day. And this really makes um, uh, Filecoin the large, larger than many centralized cloud storage fighters that are public today. And the good news is there is about 13 exabytes more space to fill with incredibly valuable data, uh, and that's growing. Um, there are over 1,400 unique clients that have uploaded data, and 23% of those have uploaded, uploaded 100 te tebabytes or more. So we're seeing an increasing fraction of extremely large clients uploading to the system. And clients here, one, one client can include an, a data onboarder like Estuary or NFT.storage that may have thousands and thousands of users on the back end. Um, this has been enabled uh, for two reasons. One is large-scale data onboarding has been possible due to various on-ramps, things like estuary, NFT.storage, Web3.storage, but also the underlying crypto economic structures that underpin the Filecoin economy. And that's made many different types of clients successful, from hundreds of applications building on the stack to Web2 initiatives that are now onboarding major Web2 things like the Decentralized Storage Alliance with ENY and IDC that's leaning into Filecoin as well. We've seen hundreds of data sets stored on Filecoin from academic institutions, governments, Web3 data sets, and many other traditional clients. And this includes massive scale data science, uh, Big shout out to Seal Storage that has onboarded the UC Berkeley Neutrino research data sets onto Filecoin. It's incredible. There you go. And uh, open governments like NYC that have stored open data sets on Filecoin as well. We see a lot of activity on our retrieval markets with the goal of getting to sub-second retrieval by the end of the year. Uh, Saturn launch, launched recently, which many individual folks can download and earn Filecoin by participating in the Filecoin CDN market. And we have over 500 total funded teams building in the Filecoin, IPFS, and PLN ecosystems, ranging from grant funding all the way to Series C and Series D funding. And so we have made a tremendous, tremendous leaps and bounds, even in the last few months, on onboarding and safeguarding humanities information. Great. So that brings us to step three. And that's really about bringing compute to the data to enable web scale applications. And the first step to initiate step three is the launch of the FBM project, which delivers on-chain programmability to the Filecoin network. So as I mentioned, FBM kind of underpins and brings programmability around the fundamental building blocks of Filecoin, storage markets, retrieval markets, and soon and later this year, compute over large scale data. 
It orchestrates where and how data gets placed, incentivized, and governs, giving rise to major new initiatives like data DAOs and programmable storage. And the best thing is that any developer in the Web3 space can deploy smart contracts to Filecoin, allowing more people to participate in the creation and capture of value uh, around data. And so it really solidifies Filecoin as the L1 uniquely poised to power the open data economy. Now, what that means from a market size perspective is that it opens up the world of kind of existing Web2 market sizes from storage and retrieval to something like compute, which is an order of magnitude larger um, and enables much more businesses to use Filecoin to, to kind of drive economic activity and move from a Web2 paradigm to a Web3 paradigm. Um, we'll go through a few examples of what this means uh, over the course of the day, but three I'll point out are perpetual storage, data DAOs, Filecoin staking, and more. And we've seen tremendous momentum from hackathons producing thousands of different hackers, uh, people building perpetual storage solutions, DeFi type, type loans and staking, and many teams that are actually already starting to get venture capital funding building on the FVM itself. You know, even pre-launch, that's a remarkable feat. Great. So once we onboard the world's information, which we're in process, we launch FVM, that enables um, us to launch other kind of services like large-scale compute over Filecoin data. And this will really enable massive Web2 applications to finally make the transition to Web3. This really will look like many different types of L2 uh, decentralized compute networks over the Filecoin L1. And the reason for that is it's really hard to optimize over all different types of kind of variables. So Juan's triangle outlines three of them, privacy, verifiability, performance. You'll notice that different L2s will focus on different specific feature sets in decentralized compute and onboard different kinds of users as a result. Um, that will also enable us to store and compute the data of all other chains. We've been doing this in the past, but FVM makes this dramatically easier for smart contracts and other ecosystems to store their data on Filecoin, retrieve their data off Filecoin, and then cause computation to happen over that data on Filecoin as well. And so you can think of Filecoin as really linking into the other Web3 ecosystem by providing these incredibly valuable services enabled and made easier by FVM. Finally, Next generation scalability is also enabled by FVM. Um, there's one particular version of this called Interplanetary Consensus that's in development and will aim to launch an alpha later this year. And that will aim to move um, the scalability of all blockchains, but especially Filecoin, from something like hundreds of transactions per second to billions and hopefully over the years, trillions of transactions per second. That is a transformative moment in the moment of Web3 and will enable us to bring on major Web2 style applications like Twitch or Twitter or YouTube onto Web3 verifiable tech. It, that enables massive scale data science to be done per, uh, on Filecoin and of course bring web scale uh, Web3 applications. So that's the three-step master plan. Step one, builds the, build the world's largest decentralized storage network. Two, onboard and safeguard humanity's data. And step three, which we're initiating in a couple weeks, bring compute to the data to enable web scale apps. The launch of FVM really solidifies Filecoin's position as an L1 uniquely poised to power the open data economy. And initiating step three of that master plan in 2023 will finally enable Web3 scale applications to run on Web3 native tech. So that's my presentation. But before I leave, just one plug to the builders in the room today and that are watching online. There is literally no better time to join the Filecoin ecosystem. As you'll see throughout the day, and I'll, I'll come back on stage in a couple hours to talk about all the resources, education, hackathons, grants, accelerators and mentorship programs, and capital and funding that's waiting to support you to build on the FVM. Uh, now is the, the best time to join, so I'm so excited that you're in the room and watching online.